one of the most powerful features I think um, about Edmodo is its library. And it, it's a whole lot more than just tagging resources to a post. So we'll basically go into the library. You'll see at the top here we have Planner, Progress, and then Library. So we're going to click into the library and just have a look around the library. Now, first of all, um, you'll see here the blue strip. Now, when it's on library, this is basically my library here, and I have a few resources, and I basically take resources from Twitter and other things, put them in here. You can access them anywhere, anytime, on any device, basically. The second one here is attached to posts, and what this is, is any of the um, groups that you have, if they've attached something to the post, all of it comes up here, including stuff that I've posted. And we'll look at Google Docs later. So we go back into library. Now the first thing we're going to learn is how do we add content. So if you have a look here, add to library button. Now we're going to start off by uploading a file. So upload. I'm going to go to my desktop and just pull uh, one of um, the smaller documents that I have on the desktop. I'll just find one. That will do. Click open and then add. And there we basically have the, um, the file there. To actually look at it, all you do, click on it and you'll find that comes up and then click and that will actually open up in another thing. I'm not going to open that right now. Now we also you have be able to put web links, any kind of web link at all. So basically I have the um, Chroma Edmodo site that I've been building and I've just cut that and then I'm going to paste that link in there. Open that, it will basically come down with um, what it's called and then click add. And again, then that link will come up to have a look at it, click that once. Be careful because if you click a couple, you'll end up with three or four. So the way to get out of that is just to click the cross. So then click that and I can access that. Now, this is all very well putting all of these resources, but we're all busy as teachers. And if we have all of our resources swimming in this one area here, we're going to have real problems. So the next feature I'm going to show you is how to actually put in folders. Now my folders area sits here and make sure you've got my folders and we'll talk about shared folders soon. So first of all, how do we create a folder? Well, this button here, click new and I'm just going to put new folder. Now the power of these folders is you can link them to one, two, six groups, depending on how you do it. So I'm just going to click this one and let's choose a group. Click at their MBSC Staff Techno Lounge. Then that's created. Now at the start it will sit up here. Next time you open up the um, folder it will go into alphabetical order. So if I go in there and I, I've got my new folder. So we'll go back to the library by clicking this button. And what I'm going to do is put this into a folder. So make sure you've only got, only got that one showing. And then click folder. And when you click it again, I'm just going to put it into any folder. I'm going to put it into Adobe Flash and then click apply. Now what you'll find is when I open up my Adobe Flash and we're actually looking at that now is it actually is in here. When I go back to the library, best practice is once you've actually taken it off the main library screen into a folder, you delete it off the library otherwise you're going to end up with so many documents. So all you do here is you click delete, comes up, says yes. So we're going to go back to Adobe Flash just for a minute. Now within our folder view, you have a few different ways of looking at it. You can look at it as a list or open like that. 
But a really cool feature in Edmodo is the launch in play view. And basically, it will actually load the documents. So I've got my Edmodo, then I have a look at my Adobe Flash manual, and it'll actually show you what it looks like. So we go back to the library by clicking the back to the library. We'll go back into the library. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is if you've got a couple of folders and maybe the name's wrong or you want to delete it, you've used it, then this is how you do it. Now, this is a, a um, a beginner's training module I did about a year ago. Now up here I can edit the name of it by clicking there and then retyping, clicking the tick, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to close that. What I want to do is actually delete this. So I can delete this folder. Now first of all you know it's that folder because it's up here, it's blue, and click yes. Another great feature of the folders is I've gone into a year 10 folder that I used last year for food tech. As say later on I want to relink the folder to different people. So what you can do is you actually click here and it'll show you how this folder shares. So basically the folder there is actually shared with um, two food tech classes and the brilliant thing about this is if you have multiple classes doing the same content you can actually link them. Now another cool feature which I only discovered last year was every folder has a unique URL. Now this really works well um, via QR codes. You make the um, folder public and what that means is then it's actually searchable on the internet. And I then utilize that by actually creating a QR code for this and the kids could actually scan and bring it up on their iPads, their phones, any device, which actually really makes it open to mobile learning. Now, other than that, we're actually going to move back into our library. Now, another feature that um, is really cool is that you have shared folders. So, you may have shared folders from other co-teachers in your groups, teacher groups, but if you click shared, and we have all of these folders and I have a lot of teacher groups which are shared. So I'm just going to go into one of these and just have a look. Now let's say I like these three and basically I want to put them into my own library. Well, I'll say I'm actually going to put them into my favorites and all I do is I click favorites, apply or any other folder that I'd like and then close that. Now when you go into your profile and I'll just do that now, it'll show your favorites which are here and then you can actually share with a greater community your favorites. So this is the public page for my um, my profile. So we'll go back into library. Now the final thing I'm going to show you today is how to filter. Now we've already looked at the search function but we may like to filter just files. So if we just click in there and then it will just show just files. Again any links. So you can see I have a lot of links. And this is a good way of actually, if you're looking for something, trying to find it. Um, other than that, just remember that we have um, tutorials on SchoolTube and YouTube. Um, and thank you for listening.